monster watch today. That's yours? Whose is it? Yours? Okay. Hallelujah. Glory. Well, I'm Brother Daniel Vanderbaum from the Wichita Assembly. Um, thankful to be here. Uh, I'd like to thank Brother Smith and the Assembly for having us. And uh, It's a wonderful experience to be here. Um, you know, as we were talking today, I had a lot of different things going on in my mind um, that very similar to uh, each scripture that was talked about today, uh, and it got me thinking about <clears throat> uh, the scripture, Joshua twenty four fifteen. 15, uh, choose you this day whom you will serve, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and I'm thankful that I have the opportunity to be able to make that choice, that Amen. I choose to be here, and I serve a great and powerful Lord. That, you know, a Sister Perry was up talking the other night. <clears throat> you know, I start, started thinking about situations that uh, me and my wife have been in. And, uh, you know, he's never failed to meet us. Um, anytime that we have uh, needed him and called upon him in situations with um, our daughter and some similar situation, uh, he has met us and leaded us through that situation. Um, you know, it's, I was talking to her the other night, and it is a, I walk through the hospitals, and I look at all the pictures and stories that uh, they have on the walls of kids that, you know, went through, and they didn't make it. And I thought, like she said, how can we go through these situations not having that higher power that we can go to, knowing that everything's going to be okay, that we'll come out on the other side ahead, and the Lord will meet us every single time. Uh, you know, I just, it's overwhelming to come and, you know, hear the uh, testimonies and know that, you know, you're not the only one going through it. You know, we're all in the boat together, and, uh, you know, we're here to help lift each other up so that we can make it to the bride. And uh, I just encourage you to uh, seek the Lord uh, and press in tonight. The Lord has been here for our services, and has been blessing us, and I'm just thankful to be here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is so worthy to be praised. 
My name is Brother Lance Jackson. I am from the Dallas Assembly under Brother Clark, and I am so excited to be here. Glory be to God. This is my first time in Little Rock, and I have enjoyed myself thus far. I stood up to lift my voice. Praise the Lord. As we were going through service, <clears throat> I began to feel out for the Spirit of God. And I want to ask a question. How many people in this room do not have the Holy Ghost and desire the gift of the Holy Ghost? Raise your hand. I see four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. I see eleven back there. I believe that God can do it in this service. No pumping or priming, no music, just the preached word of God, and he can come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints, do we expect that to happen? Praise God. Praise God. They preach it in the Bible. The Bible says, why Peter yet spake, the Holy Ghost spelled. Hallelujah. I am saved enough to believe that the same God that was back with Peter, he is with us right now. Glory be to God. But saints, it's all about our expectation. Do you expect the Spirit of God to fall down? Did you come to this meeting expecting the same thing, or did you come expecting something new? Praise God, I came expecting to see something different. I came to see some of those powers revealed. Hallelujah. We say that we are people of God. These signs should follow us. Praise God. Praise God. I feel good. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm ready to see blinded eyes open. Hallelujah. I'm ready to see more sick bodies healed. I'm ready to see it, saints. Do we expect that when we come into the house of God? Or do we expect just to sit down and catch up on our nap? Praise God. All right. <clears throat> so speaking about the Holy Ghost, I have something prepared, but I, we're going to see what the Lord wants to do in the next 90 seconds. Um. I remember when I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. I was about seven years old. It was March 23rd, 2008. I'm only 18, praise God. I'm glad that I graduated high school, glory be to God. That was a trial. But I was seven years old when I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. I was back in Dallas, and a couple of months before, Brother D.L. Jones came, and he admonished the saints and after he was done, he asked a question. Is there anyone that wants to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost? And at that time, I was unsure. Some of the saints may be unsure if they still have it or if they even have it at all. Some saints may not even be sure that there is a God. I came by today to let you know that this Jesus that we're calling on, he is real. He's realer than the nose on your face. Praise God. He's as real as the air that you breathe. Glory be to God. So Brother D.L. Jones came and admonished the saints and asked, do you want the gift of the Holy Ghost? I was sitting by Sister Betty Jones, and I, I had the tendency of uh, walking in service, so they put me in between somebody that would sit me down. So I didn't move, but I knew that I wanted the gift of the Holy Ghost. Time fast forward, Brother E.A. Jones, who was the pastor of Dallas at that time, got up, and the Lord had him working on the same line of thought and asked, who wants the gift of the Holy Ghost? Still didn't move. But the next service, the Lord had him on the same thing. God was trying to get my attention, saints. Don't we feel that the Lord is trying to get our attention in this meeting? Praise God. So this time I slipped past Sister Betty Jones and made my way to the altar. Saints, I threw my hands up. There was no music going on. The man of God just laid his hands on me. And it wasn't long that my soul was brought alive. Hallelujah. The scripture over in Ephesians 2 said, We were dead in trespasses and sins, and yet hath he quickened us. That quickening is by the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And I just came to tell you, if you need it, if you want it, it's available. We begin to talk about the river that never runs dry. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You can step into this river today. Hallelujah. The Bible says out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. 
Praise God. There is a river that makes glad the city of our God. I feel good. Glory be to God. And I'm glad to say that I have that river. Praise the Lord. And the, the river wasn't just me speaking in tongues, dancing, running around, and feeling good. The river was designed to get me back to where God had created me. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God created man upright, but he sought out many inventions. Praise God. And I was born under the curse of Adam. But the Holy Ghost is a curse breaker. Praise God. Because I have the gift of the Holy Ghost, I have the decision whether or not that I want to sin. I asked this question in another assembly. I want you to think about this. What sin do you have to commit right now? What sin do you have to commit before midnight? No sin. But those of us who are not leaning on our Holy Ghost, we will find ourselves sinning. Saints, I admonish you, it is time for us to lean on this Holy Ghost. Praise God. We read that scripture. I'm going to read it. It's over in Romans 8, I believe. Again, I'm so thankful to be here. Thank you, Brother, Sm Brother uh, Smith, for opening up. This entire chapter in um, Romans 8 is excellent. Ooh. Praise God. I want to start at verse 8. Um, sorry, chapter 8, verse 1 of Romans. There is now no for condemnation. To them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. But the carnal mind, it is enmity against God, for it is not subject, to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. I want to jump down to verse 13. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye live through the, excuse me, live through the spirit, do mortify the deed of the body, ye shall live. Saints, it is time for us that already have the Holy Ghost to start obeying it. Praise God. So I'm going to admit something to y'all. I, I have not been an absolute perfect child. My parents would oftentimes tell me to do something once, twice, then the hit would come. The Lord wants to tell us something through his spirit. And Brother Mick Smith, you talked about it the first thing. It's how we respond to God when he's asking us to move. When God tells us something the first time, we should obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Because the children of Israel could not obey the law of God, they had to wander through the desert for 40 years. Saints, we don't have 40 years. We can see the ark is coming closer to Jerusalem. And we need to set our houses in order. Young people, we need to set our lives in order. We need to humble ourselves to the holy writ, the holy word of God, and obey it. I'm of the philosophy that young people can be a part of the bride. I'm of the philosophy that young people can live saved. You may ask, Brother Lance, how do you know that? 
Because myself, I'm living saved. I know other young people are living saved. For those who are questioning if we can live this life, I am here to be a witness and to declare unto you it is possible. Praise God. I got up in Dallas and testified and told them that I always didn't believe this stuff. So I tried it. And saints, I found out when I tried it, it was found true. Hallelujah. The word of God is a hanging post. You can hang out on it and it will not fall. The Bible says that the word of God will not return unto him void. It will do that which he set it out. Hallelujah. Praise God for Jesus. Saints, I'm just excited. I just got up to lend my voice. And I want those people that raise their hands that are seeking the gift of the Holy Ghost. I want you to earnestly consider, Lord, why have you not given to me yet? And Lord, let me remove that stumbling block so I can receive it. Because without the Holy Ghost, you can't do much. We just read it. You're still in the flesh. Can you imagine coming to a service of the body of Christ and everybody's in their flesh? That's Babylon. That's not Jerusalem. Praise God. So, saints, let's try to get out of our flesh. Let's get in our spirit and expect something from the rest of this meeting. I still believe God can do something great. Hallelujah. I begin to read, and I thought about how the glory of the Lord filled the temple over in 1 Corinthians. It filled it so great that the priests could not serve. They could not minister. Wouldn't we like to see that? Wouldn't we like to see that the Father himself send his spirit and he preach a whole message? No music, no, no carnality, no assistance, just the pure river of God. Let's take hold of it, saints. Do you believe we can do it? It is possible in this world to live godly, but it is impossible to do it in our flesh. That is why we need the gift of the Holy Ghost. Pray my strength in the Lord. Spirit was coming in in waves. We were praying for Maddie and different things were going on. And you all, you know, we've been talking about obedience and what the Lord's told you to do. And everybody kind of sat back down at their seats and we had a brother do some cartwheels. And I thought, oh Lord, just to be a willing vessel. And I'm a runner. So I took off running around the church. It just hit me. And when I came back to my seat, I got in a depth in the spirit that I had never, never been before. Um, I could hear music, and I kept looking, and nobody was over there. I could hear music playing. I remember I was straining so hard just to hear what was playing, and then I realized my tongues, I was speaking in a song. I was singing in tongues. And so that was on my mind the next few days, and Sunday I was getting ready for church, and I thought, oh, Lord, I just want to hear it again. I just want to hear it again if you would just let me know what song that was. And I was just, I was doing my makeup, getting ready for church, and... He just put it on my mind just like that, just a simple prayer. It wasn't nothing, and it was press on through the crowd. Life is waiting there. And just to be obedient and know that there's a depth that we've got to get to to dig a little deeper. And if you have the Holy Ghost, push, get deeper, get some more experiences with the Lord. And I just want to tell him thank you for that, and I'm thankful to be here. I've enjoyed everything, and y'all keep striving.
Well, my name's Brother Daniel from Pearl, Mississippi, and uh, under Brother Jimmy Ellis, and so glad to be here. Always appreciated Brother Mickey Smith, and he really knows how to have a meeting. And I'm like my brother. I know, I believe the Holy Ghost is so important. It's very important, isn't it? Amen? I heard somebody talking about that you didn't maybe have to have the Holy Ghost and all this, and I seen something the other day that said, I, you, you, you need the Holy Ghost to even go in Walmart these days. <laughs> I said, amen to that. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is important. It's real. It will guide you. And I want to take it with me even into Walmart or into school or wherever it may be. Because He's real, and the Spirit of God is so real. And I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this setting. It's such a great thing. The Lord's brought us to the house of God. And He's he set us here in all kinds of situations. And I felt, as one of the brothers was saying, that some of you are going to go home in different homes that where your parents might not even serve God. And all these different things. We even brought some youth here that when they go home, their mom and dad and all these different things are in some situations today. But I say, but God. I say it don't matter where you come from in life, but God. He can help you. He'll be a present help in a time of trouble. And I just really quick, I, I, I love that song about the redeemed. My Lord, I'm excited. I've been redeemed. There's something about the power of God that when you've re been redeemed, that you're living this moment for God and that He's got you here for a reason. And I love that. I love the power of God. I love what He's doing in all of our life. But you know, I, all of us always didn't, we always wasn't so shiny and so pretty talking about some of us going home and all these different things in the pools. And I got a brother going back to college that said, oh, I said, you need to come to this meeting to get you through the rest of those years of college. And some of you here are going back into school and y'all need to get y'all something here that'll get you through next year's school year. And I say that we wasn't always this pretty. I, you know, I don't like to always tell all of my testimony, but you know, sometimes it ain't about what I want. It's about God getting the glory. I believe He's looking down here to some of you that wasn't always so pretty and He's saying, I want the glory in your life. And I was raised in this and uh, as, a, as a young kid, my... And, and all this, I come in, eight years old. I didn't know who my father was. They separated when I was young. And I was at, when my dad was, when I turned eight, my, my mom had divorced a man she was with. And she said, you have another father. I was living in Memphis at the time out of church with my mother. And uh, she said, you have a father in Jackson. And uh, I want you to go live with him. And, in that meantime of that little span, he had met a woman that had found the body of Christ and changed our whole family generation. And I went into that church there in Pearl, Brother Corky Tinney, Brother George Wright was there when I got there. I was eight years old and I walked in this church and people was talking to me like I was 25. And I was like, who am I? I come, I come from my mom's with drugs and all these things and these older ladies would come up to me and They'd buy me little jeans, Brother Mike Bowen there. They'd buy me jeans and treat me. I had never felt so much of love in my life. And whenever I, I thought, I always had that pull. There's always a pull in the world, isn't it? There's a pull, especially with broken up families. And I tell you, they, uh, whenever I turned about 13, I thought the light was a little brighter on the other side. I thought, and I... I left that good state that was I was in, and I moved back to Memphis with my mom. And I, I've, I've suffered many things from it, and even got in trouble with the law a little bit. And the whole time in the back of my mind, I knew I should be where I found all that love. And I got in trouble. I even got in trouble with the state and the law as just a 13, 14-year-old boy, and it was terrible. It's a terrible... It's scars that you can't get back. If you look at your... Body, you might see some scars. You'll never hardly be able to fix it. And they sent me down. I was in Memphis, thought I was doing my own life. I thought it was fun out there running from the Lord. I was like Jonah in the belly of the whale. I was running from God. He told me to be in church, but I was running. I'm telling some of you here today, if you're thinking about running, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth running from God. It'll just bring you down to nothing. 
And that I got put in the system, and they said, we're shipping you all the way down to Columbia Training School down in the bottom of Mississippi, down in South Mississippi. The, the court, they couldn't do nothing. I, I, I didn't kill nobody. None of y'all be scared of me. <laughs> They sent me in that, and it's their custom. They're going to make them boys right. They had to shut it down because of the things they were doing to those kids. But they, I deserved it. The first night there, they took my clothes off, shaved my hair, and they threw me in a little 8-by-8 eight eight cell, 15 years old, dark. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, like the prodigal son, I knew better. I knew better than to run from the Lord. And, and I, a picture come in my mind. I remember my stepmother, Tanya Hester, the one that brought my father into church. I remember her watching a tape. We come from a low setting and, and all this. And the Bible says to despise not the day of small things. You, you young ones here, don't despise the day of small things. Time won't always go by this slow, somebody said. It will pick up. But I remember sitting in that eight by eight in the state of Mississippi and little uh, just remembering and I remember her watching a church tape. I remember it just as clear as day. She was watching a Houston church tape, eating grapes. They had just found this love and all, whenever I was that young at eight and they, she was watching a church tape. All this was playing in my mind and here I am in this bad condition. I left home and and I remember she was watching a Houston church tape of an old lady. She was singing and I was crying in that, in that little condition, and the song was, Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand, for I am tired and I am weak. You know, if you don't fall on the rock, the rock will fall on you and grind you to powder. I don't like telling this story. I promise I don't like telling it, but God wants to glory from where he brought you from. You know, there's, there was a saying I heard the other day that, that Christ was hung up for your hang-ups. Do you believe that today? I believe that Christ was led to the cross and that He was hung up for mine and your hang-ups so that we could hit the restart button. I believe here today that there's enough power in the Holy Ghost that you can walk right down here today. Some of you, that those 11 that was talking, and you can hit the reset button and you can, and, and you can say, my Lord, thank God He was hung up for my hang-ups. Do you believe that today? I believe that today that there's enough power in the Holy Ghost that you don't have to run from the Lord anymore. He can make it right. And I was sitting in there after I heard that song. And by the way, nobody's sings that song the way Elvis could sing that song. <laughs> Y'all know I'm from Mississippi. I got to throw that in there. <laughs> Precious Lord, when I'm weak, you know, when you're weak, somebody say that's when you're strong. And I was sitting in there, and that's little three or four years I had in Pearl, I remembered that little girl named Stephanie. And if any of you ever seen Papa, I tell people that she looked like little olive oil. Her little legs were so tiny. And <laughs> but I had my eye on her at that young teenage age. I said, Lord, if you get me out of this condition. Brother Smith talking about relationships, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed every bit of it. Talking about relationships, if you'll get right with the Lord and make a vow with the Lord, you know, don't make it if you ain't serious. It says it's better not to make it than to make it. But if you'll get serious with the Lord like I did at my lowest state, I said, Lord, if you get me out of here, I want to marry that little olive oil girl. And I want to tell you today that Sister Steph, we've been married 15 years. We've got three beautiful children because I made a vow to the Lord and I'm going to keep it. Have you ever made a vow to the Lord? Are you still keeping your vow to the Lord? Are you still loving the Lord? And I got out of there skit head and all. And I, they sent me back to my dad's where I should have been the whole time I come in there, and you know they all hug me and love me just like the body. Charity loved me up. And I started tr trying to do right and, and all these different things, and I don't always just want to tell the bad, but when you make right, and I got out of there, I got in the fire st service, I started getting my head on right, and I, I started going to these meetings and started coming to Brother Mickey Smith's meetings and all these things that he had in the campground and all these things, and, I, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. I said, Lord, I'm missing so many meetings, so I opened up a business, and 
Like my brother said here that got up, to, you know, the business is doing so good. I got people at home uh, working right now. I'm out of this situation. I'm not even standing here right now. I'm trying to give God the glory. I'm wanting to be transparent. You know God can work things in your life. He can do things in your life if you'll just give over. I heard somebody say, if you'll just let Jesus take the wheel in your life. Do you believe that today? I believe it. I believe that He can take you from the uttermost and He can set you up. We sang a song here today that we're, or the other day about holy ground and there are angels all around. Do you know that this is a spiritual occurrence here today? When they say there's angels all around, Sister Perry, I don't take that lightly. Whenever her daughter had all these conditions, that's whenever we start calling on heaven and all these angels and all these different things. I believe that there are angels in the building today. Do you believe that? I believe this is a spiritual happening and I say all you've got to do is reach up and reach out and you can have what you need in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hi, my name is Philip Richards. Assembly, and um, my pastor is obviously Brother Green. You've probably heard of a lot of us today. Um, I'm listening to the, the service today, and my heart keeps on telling me I go to the rock. That's where I, That's the song that I'm going to be singing. Um, I'm a college student for physical therapy in Kansas City, Kansas. And, uh, you know, they're right. You don't have to live that certain lifestyle. I'm not able to go to my church. I'm not, I don't get those opportunities. I don't always get to get in the spirit with my, my spiritual family. But, um, you know, if you said fast and you make the right choices, you can, you can stay through. And uh, I'll shut up, and I'll get, let the Lord do his work, and hopefully it blesses you. Where do I go when there's no one else to turn to? Who do I talk to when no one wants to listen? Who do I lean on when there's no foundation stable? I go to the rock. I go to the rock, I go to the rock of my salvation, I go to the storm that the pillar rejected, I go to the mountain that the mountain stands by me, the earth all around All around me is sinking sand. 
might mention that uh, we've got ten Dominicans here from the Dominican Republic. Three of them are in Brother Green's church in Wichita. And uh, <clears throat> most of you, I think, all know that we have a, a missionary work in the Dominican Republic. God's really, really doing something in the Dominican Republic right now. It's just things have exploded over there, and it's exciting what God's doing. Anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad that <clears throat> some of them are here uh, to represent the Dominican Republic. Um, <clears throat> Brother Green's, Brother Emilio Green is one of my leading ministers over there. Him and Brother Elias and Brother Calderon are the three main men that God gave me in the beginning of the work. I've been going there since 2001 in January. And uh, we have several churches over there now and several hundred people in the body of Christ in the Dominican Republic. And I um, thought I'd have Jamilka come up here and and uh, it's Brother Green's daughter. Come on up, Sister Jamilka. Uh, uh, <clears throat> she's she's learning English. Uh, I don't know which one of us. I don't know if she can speak English better than I can speak Spanish. But neither one of us are very good. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, uh, Leonel, what are you, her cousin? Yes, sir. Is that right? This is Brother Leonel Arechi. He's he's Brother Green's nephew. Este es el hermano Leonel, el, el sobrino and, uh, de Leonel Green. He's been pastoring 10 years over in Rhode Island. Él estaba pastoreando por más de 10 años. But he's Rhode recently Island. moved here to Little Rock. Recientemente se mudó help a Little us Rock. here and so he can interpret for her. I would like for her to, uh, I want her to, maybe she'll sing a song for us, but I want her to testify. Quizá ella no puede cantar una alabanza, pero quiero que testifique. She probably ought to move up here by the piano. Ella puede subir aquí cerca del piano. Aleluya. Somos bendecidos, hermanos. We are so blessed, Somos bendecidos. We are blessed. Le doy gracias al Señor por esta oportunidad que me ha permitido. I thank God for this opportunity. Es mi primera vez esta experiencia aquí compartir en una reunión de jóvenes. This is my first in a youth mi alma ha sido muy bendecida. My soul has been so esto va a ser una experiencia que va a marcar mi alma. This Yo voy a llevar un poco de esta bendición allá a los dominicanos, a los jóvenes. I'm going to take part of this blessing back home with me for the youth. Y voy, le prometo que will, para la próxima convención de jóvenes, I will promise you that for the next youth convention, si es la voluntad de Dios, if it's God will, traeré y voy a convencer a otros jóvenes para que vengan a compartir esa experiencia. I'm going to convince other youth so they can share this experience. Es una experiencia que va a ser inolvidable. This is going to be a, a unforgivable experience. Desde que yo llegué a este lugar, Since I came to this place, mi alma ha sido bendecida. My soul has been blessed. Y le doy gracias a Dios por and eso. I thank God for that. Eh, nosotros um, han estado hablando sobre el bautismo del Espíritu Santo. They have been speaking about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yo recuerdo cuando el pastor Smith llegó allá a República Dominicana. I remember when Brother Smith came to Santo Dominican Republic. Su esposa y él siempre insistían en de que nosotros recibamos el Espíritu Santo. Him and his wife always insist that we should receive the Holy Ghost. Yo era apenas muy jovencita, tenía was, como algunos 12, 13, 14. I had like uh, 13, 14 years old. Yo recuerdo cuando recibí el bautismo del Espíritu Santo. Yo tenía apenas como 16 años. I was like 16. Fue un día en la iglesia, un culto normal. Was a normal service. 
yo recordaba que la hermana Margaret decía, solamente tú tienes que levantar tu mano y decir aleluya, 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 I, I aleluya. Rem I remember Sister Margaret said, just lift your hand and yield and say aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Ese día eh, nosotros teníamos un culto de adoración. That day we had a worship service. Pues yo comencé a adorar y a levantar mis manos. Well, I started to worship and y comencé my hand. a decir aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya. Y yo sentí que en ese momento. And I felt that in that, that moment, algo sobrenatural cayó sobre mí. Something uh, fell over me. Eh, mi lengua comenzó a trambuliquearse I, my like rolling, y uh, sentí como algo diferente en mi ser I, I in my soul. y comencé a, a, a alabar a Dios Then I start to worship in God. y yo solamente decía aleluya, aleluya, aleluya aleluya, aleluya, aleluya y yo comencé a llorar, a llorar, a llorar y comencé a hablar en nueva lengua and I start speaking in new tongues. y esta fue mi nueva experiencia yeah. en Dios en hablar nuevas lenguas de Hallelujah. ahí en adelante From there on, eh, nosotros seguimos insistiendo con otros jóvenes otros hermanos de la iglesia kept insisting with other youth, uh, hablar nuevas lenguas so we can speak in new tongues. y Dios nos ha bendecido and God has blessed us so far. yo tengo un niño de 7 años I have a seven years old y eh, Dios comenzó a tocarlo cuando tenía seis años. God him when he had six years. Un día nosotros comenzamos a adorar a Dios. One day we start, like, y Dios lo tocó. And God him. Y mi alma fue muy bendecida ese And my día. Soul was so that day. Amén. Aleluya. Aleluya. Somos bendecidos. So Aleluya. No va a cantar ya, amén. Aleluya, gracias Señor. Cámbiame, oh Dios, de lo que ahora soy. Renueva mi mente, con tu palabra limpiame. Restaurame, Señor, no me dejes me. como soy. Oh, yo quiero cambiar, cambiar, cambiame oh Dios de lo que ahora soy. Renueva mi mente, con tu palabra limpiame. Restaurame, Señor. No me dejes como Don't soy. How I am. Yo quiero cambiar. Cambiar. Cambiame, oh Dios, de lo que ahora soy. Renueva mi mente con tu palabra, limpiame. Restaurame, Señor, no me dejes como soy. Yo quiero cambiar, cambiar, cambiame, oh Dios, de lo que ahora soy. Renueva mi palabra limpiame restaurame Señor no me dejes como soy yo quiero cambiar Lord I want to change Aleluya cambiar Oh, oh, oh. 
of your word.
by the washing of your word. Restore my soul to you. Don't leave me as I am. Lord, I want to change. To change. Change me, oh God, from the
love your word. Restore my soul to you. Don't leave me as I am. Lord, I want to change. To change. Change me, oh God, from the creature that I am.
God, praise God. Hallelujah. God. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, there's uh, refreshments downstairs at the snack bar. Those of you that are hungry, you can go on down to the snack bar. The gym's open again tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know how many, but I know some got the Holy Ghost tonight. <coughs> We're scheduled to... Uh, close at 2.30 tomorrow, but we're going to try to get you out a little bit earlier. Maybe we know you got to drive. So we'll work on that. Praise God, praise God. I'd keep you another day if you'd stay. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, God bless you. I'll see you in the morning at 11 o'clock. Band practice at 10. God bless your heart. Shake hands and be friendly. Here's how we shake hands in, the, in, in a little rock. Good night. <laughs>